calling Magnolia. gets here for a medical call. His wife has a peanut allergy. She's going to have an electric shock. Okay. She is drunk too. She tells fire, I'm scared of my husband. So per their product protocol, they call us. We get here. I'm, she's in the back. I talk to her. I go, why are you scared of your husband? She goes, I'm not. I go, now he's told the medics. She said, she goes, he took my phone from me earlier. So I'm like, okay, here we go. Why do you take the phone? She was because I was starting to have a peanut allergy, and he didn't believe. Okay, so he didn't take you because of an assault, a threat, anything else? No, he just thought I was faking it. He took the phone. She was so I'm scared that I wasn't to be able to get medical treatment. So he took my phone. Okay, so she's on the way to Harborview. Met at White Coats were here, and then you know she's going up, and they confirmed it's some sort of anaphylactic. So he's walking away, so we want to talk to him, like, hey, man, come back here. He turns around, go fuck yourself. So we're like, no, we need to speak with you, you know. You're drunk. There's a gun in the room in the safe. She says she's scared of you. We need to clarify this, taking you on the phone. And basically he goes over the corner over here and starts to square up. She tells me to go fuck myself again. So, no, I'm just getting the, the whole story in regards to but the thing is, it wasn't the end mark or a DV for that, that's what I'm doing. So, anyway, you tell him pretty much, you know, come to the And so he gets here, and now all of a sudden, you know, how old am I? I've been in law enforcement longer than, you know, pretty much I've been out of the diet, that whole thing. Then he, then he goes in, I'm not drunk, and he sits here, and now he's apologizing for his behavior. And I'm sorry, you said you think he's drunk? Well, yeah, you can smell the liquor on his breath a foot and a half away. All right. So anyway, it's... You're going to have to write it out, so clear out the... Yeah. Yeah. explain later, why it's not a Yeah. Especially regarding the taking of the call. Because it didn't originate didn't originate because of a DV, he took the phone, yeah. you know, hindering his ability to call 911, but there was no original DV, no. so it's not taking the phone to call 911 for no. that purpose, it's a medical situation, so, all right, so, anything else? No, so, I don't know why he's in town or anything else, but, you know, Mr. got 20 years on, I'm an ATF agent, field supervisor, yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah, that's why I left and I went to the... Yes, sir. He okay. So, given you all these years in law enforcement, you understand the threshold for domestic violence, right? Yes, I and how, understand. How extremely states. low that is? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand the discretion is not there when it comes to domestic violence or the claim or the possibility of a domestic violence situation? Okay. You yes, understand, sir. right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, when the officers came to make contact, they've got to talk to both sides. Okay. Do you agree with that? I understand what you're saying. Yes. And you understand yes. as you're walking away, being belligerent, they can't investigate that other half? Um, I wasn't actually belligerent. I kind of, we got in a verbal, like, kind of thing. At some point, did I, you well, tell I the officer never... to fuck off? Well, I apologize I'll for take that, that as yes. a yes. Yes, okay. Yes. At some point, did you swear off, and given all your experience in law enforcement, the term swearing off? I don't know what you mean by swearing off. I never squared off. Being I came, conference. I walked back and talked to the officers. I didn't okay. square off. So yeah. I'm just, I just want to discuss, because you're obviously not happy with the officer's action. And no. when it's possible domestic violence, I, they are obligated to investigate both sides. Well, so when they ask you to stop and talk and you tell them to fuck off, okay. it, you know, you're causing I, a problem. But again, with all your years of law enforcement, I, did I stop think you'd understand. I did stop and talk, sir. I understand what you're saying. 
I did, I did stop and talk, yes. So we have to write up what happened tonight. It's what they determined is not a domestic violence situation. They figured that out without your help. But we do have to document what happened, and they'll have your information and your wife's. You understand that? They, they determined it's not a domestic violence situation. Correct. It was a medical situation, but you didn't assist them in being able to determine that. It took, it's harder to do when you're walking away telling the officer to fuck off. Well, I, I, think think the way, I think the way the officer talked to me as you're was walking made, away, me, made me upset. You yes. know what? This whole night is everybody else's fault. It's part of your problem. When I initially, my problem, when I initially, when I initially on, spoke to you, I ju- I'm not Come your on, bro. Seriously. I asked you to stop. I mean, you listen. turned around and said, go fuck yourself. When I say stop, listen. that's not talking to you bad. Right. Getting back, telling me what you're doing. No, it's getting back to the domestic violence situation. I've been, I've been in law enforcement for I got that. I, I also know this is you're yes. intoxicated uh-huh. and we're not. And you're uh-huh. not on the job right now and we are, okay? So we're going to make the decision. So when they get a possible domestic violence situation and one party is walking away and telling them to fuck off, they're going to raise their level. It's not a boxing match. So if you're walking away uh-huh. and you're telling them to fuck off, they're going to raise their tone. Yeah, I understand. So there's no apology for yeah, that. They're going to get you to stop. Now, after you stop, we slow it down. We realize, hey, this isn't a domestic violence situation. Okay. But again, you didn't help the situation. So there's your ID. I'm sure you're very concerned with your wife, her status. Are you going to head that way to check on her? Well, that's what I was doing, but, like, I didn't realize that you guys had been... Well, why did you guys have to do this to me? I mean, well, again, with all your years of law enforcement, you'd understand domestic violence situation. I thought I'd just discuss that. Again, with all your years of law enforcement experience, you'd understand. But they are obligated to investigate that. I'm not trying to be that. like Mr. Jackass, like I'm all these years of law enforcement experience. I'm just repeating, because I mean, you've said it to me and the officer several times, so I just want to acknowledge your years of law enforcement, that you'd know you can't just walk away when they're here to investigate a possible domestic violence. And they're not going to let you walk away. Okay. Period. Is there any question you have for me? I just want to say that I was walking that way, That's fine. and okay. I got yelled at by an officer. And Absolutely, because kind of really they had to stop you, and then your reaction was to tell them to fuck off. Uh, but I did stop, though, right? Is that correct? I we're did we're stop. talking to each other. So I, I guarantee you're going to stop one yeah. way or another. You're going to get stopped, yes. Yeah. I stopped without any kind of uh, No, actually, you told problem. them, you told them actually, to fuck off. you were boxed in by this officer because you attempted to turn a walk away a second time, and he stopped you from leaving. I was walking down the street, and you guys told me to stop and okay. turn around. So Either that, or we'll just get our local ATF jurisdiction involved, and they can talk to your boss. Uh, is, do, would you like to bring your supervisor out? Because I'll be more that. glad to do that, because we have, we have agents well, my right supervisor, here. I'm going to have to, obviously, I would notify my supervisor what's happening. So, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, clearly, you're not happy with our actions here tonight. So, I'm here. I'm they asked perfectly me to come happy here with to you got your actions. I'm perfectly okay. happy, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the courtesy. Okay. I appreciate it. Well, there's no courtesy. We determined there was no domestic violence. So well, no, we're not that. giving you professional courtesy in any way. We're just telling you there's no domestic violence, so you're free to go about your way. They're going to document what happened to include your information and your wife's. We're obligated to do that. Because okay. I don't want you tomorrow when you're sober to go, hey, you know, I think they were out of line. No, we're going to document what happened in our sober state as opposed to your intoxicated state. Fair enough? But I'm not intoxicated. I would beg to differ. Okay. Anything else for us? Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. All right. I mean... Anything else? No? It sounded like you, you had something you wanted to ask from us. I don't want to drive away and not answer your question. Okay. Have a good morning.